CM Punk is getting a lot of backlash on social media because he posted uh, a video of him doing autograph signings on Instagram. However, what was actually in the background was a little bit more revealing, and a lot of people seem to be really disappointed by this. However, I don't think it's actually that big of a deal. So we are going to talk about it. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, we're going to show you in just a second. But welcome to The Ango Show. Oh, 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 oh yes. All right, guys, I want to take a look at my screen. Uh, Aaron Rift from No DQ. he posted this video uh, on social media. This was a screen recording of Instagram CM Punk. Now, we're going to watch this video. And um, as you can see, CM Punk is just doing autograph signings, and nothing really seems unusual, right? Nothing unusual at all. Now, you're probably just watching this clip and you're thinking, hey, CM Punk is just doing autograph signings and you might not be paying attention to what is happening on the background. But if you look relatively closely, we're going to pause it right there. This is Uncle Howdy practicing the sister Abigail. And if you just take a quick look, you can actually see the final testament and Uncle Howdy and the Y6 are... Uh, they're rehearsing their match. So this is obviously a big deal for a lot of reasons because CM Punk is effectively ruining kayfabe. Everybody knows that wrestling is 100% real and nobody rehearses their matches, right? Again, you could kind of see it on the screen. They're doing the rehearsal for their match, and that is what's causing this huge, huge, huge uproar. Now, it's obviously not that big of a deal, and I'm going to explain why it's not a big deal in this video. But first and foremost, you guys need to understand that CM Punk posting this video more than likely was an accident, uh, not really paying attention to what was seen in the background, which obviously would make a lot of sense. But also, guys, it's 2024. We know that professional wrestling is, you know, um, we know that professional wrestling isn't this real sport. We know that it is sports entertainment. And I think that's why it is so funny that people have this level of backlash. I think in today's climate, the IWC is always looking for a reason to be mad. And especially when you have CM Punk at the forefront of this, I think people are even looking for more reasons to be upset. But the truth is, when you look at that clip, I think one, it's a pure accident. But two, what is wrong with the fact that we see footage of them rehearsing their match? And I think also we need to address this. This is not the first time we have seen stuff like this. Um, keep in mind, somebody posted a video or a photo of CM Punk and Drew McIntyre talking about their match prior to Raw going on the air. And this was happening at a time where CM Punk and Drew McIntyre were having a very incredible program every single week. So what I'm starting to realize when I, when I see all this backlash, I get it. A lot of people simply just don't like CM Punk and they, they want a reason to hate CM Punk. But also I think a lot of times people, especially in the IWC, they care so much about protecting kayfabe. And I know this is probably not a popular opinion and I understand this might be controversial to a very large extent, but guys, there has been so many things in the history of pro wrestling that have effectively killed kayfabe that I don't think anybody watches this expecting it to be unscripted at all. And I think, you know, this is such a weird thing to even be discussing, but when I see on social media, whether it's TikTok or Twitter or YouTube, and there's this huge uproar, the only thing I could think of is that the IWC loves being pissed off. And I think it's different, right? Like if you were pissed off about booking decisions, if you're pissed off about the show quality, if you're pissed off about business decisions or whatever it may be, I mean, that's like where your fandom is. Um, but it's 2024. There has just been so much time that has passed. I, I don't know anybody who watches this and and thinks that it is 100% real. And, and guys, I, I mean, I have people who don't watch wrestling and they, they, they love my job. They think, hey, Ango, like your job is so cool. Like you get this really cool job. You get to talk about professional wrestling. Nobody ever asks me, hey, is that stuff fake, right? They always ask me. They're like, maybe the one thing that they, that they ask might be, hey, is like, are they, you know, are, are they actually like protecting each other in the ring? Do they actually get hurt? That seems to be the most common question I get. And we all know in professional wrestling, like people get beat up. People get hurt. That's why we see injuries. That's why we see people, you know, botches happen. Things happen. But we all know that pro wrestling is largely designed to entertain people. And they're going to do things to try and make it as entertaining as possible. 
Now, the way to effectively make it as entertaining as possible, um, you know, it's one of those things where like it, it's you got to you got to obviously rehearse. You got to work with each other. And I think the, 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 the nice thing about professional wrestling is that it is a very nice um, way of entertainment. Right. Because you have the athletics behind it where that kind of aspect gives you the sport feel. Right. You see people doing flips. You see people doing clotheslines. You see people selling injuries and they do a really good job of selling those things. Right. Um, but then you also get the storylines and the scripts and the characters and stuff like that. And that's what makes it the entertainment portion. And I think for so many people, they don't even watch professional wrestling because of the sport aspect. I think a lot of people tend to watch professional wrestling largely due to the fact that it is like a sitcom. It's like a movie. It's like a comedy. It's like a horror film. Like you can tie so many different genres, genres into this. And I think that's what makes professional wrestling so cool. I know people in real life who never liked watching wrestling. And I, I tell them to tune in. They start watching the Bloodline storyline. And then what's really funny is that, like, because the storyline is so good, they effectively get intrigued. And then they see the wrestling aspect is like, whoa, like, these guys are doing some really cool stuff. Then they, they get to a point where they're like, okay, I understand it. And then they become fans of professional wrestling because they already know what hooked them in wasn't the wrestling aspect. And I understand that's not for everybody. I understand that not every single person is going to view it like that. But that is one of the big things that I have noticed um, in my own personal experiences. So this whole thing of CM Punk killing kayfabe, man, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. And I think, I think a lot of people are saying he ruined professional wrestling by posting this. And, and I just, I don't agree with that in the slightest. And, and again, I mean, you look at this clip and dude, it's not, it's not punk's fault. I don't know. It's just really strange. I think what's actually really funny about this whole thing is that people didn't even know that matches get rehearsed. Um, but if you've ever seen it, I mean, you know, it's something that, that they get done. You know, they, there's guys hanging out backstage and they talk and they figure things out and they have producers and agents for a reason. And, um, I don't really see a problem with it. So if you guys think CM Punk ruined wrestling, I'm curious to hear your perspective as to why you have this emotional attachment to it. But I think, I think, you know, there's been too many instances in pro wrestling that we have seen, which, I think was actually far worse than what CM Punk just did. Um, and again, I think it's an accident. So I don't really think CM Punk intentionally did that. And I don't think most people were paying attention to it. So that's a very interesting aspect to it as well. But you guys can let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you guys agree, disagree, I'm very curious uh, to, to read your comments. Thank you guys for watching.